Yo, what's up my BGA crew? Welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can see here, we are having Ono's Hawaiian barbecue. Let's go ahead and get into this because I am stuave. Blessed hands have prepared it. Provide for those that are going hungry. Protect, bless, and heal my BGA crew. In your precious name I pray. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, you guys. I have some news to tell you guys. Some exciting news or whatever. And I'll get into that in just a little bit. Just let me get some bites in. Because, you know, I've been doing chores and errands all day. Ugh, I just got to eat. So these are the crab ragoons. I'm so pissed because I dropped one on the floor. Mmm. I asked them for hot sauce. They have hot sauce though. Oh man. Mm. Oh, these have like a little bit of a garlic flavor or something. Oh, these are definitely better than pandas. Ah. Oh. oh, this is good. This is like a Louisiana style hot sauce, like a Texas pea. A red devil. There's definitely a vinegar base. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Let me put this on my rice. Oh yeah. Wow. Um. Do, let me know. Is is Ono's Hawaiian barbecue everywhere? Like, can does everyone have access to it? Mmm. Oh my what? Oh that hot sauce on the rice. I think what is it? <clears throat> oh, spicy. Oh. Mmm. Oh, that's like a sweet teriyaki. And I think this is a sriracha. Alright, you guys, right here. This is my first time trying spam mushubu mushibi. Mush, mush, mushubi. Spam Mushubi. I think this is what it's called. It's Spam wrapped in like a sushi roll. Mm! What? Oh, oh. What? Oh my gosh. Oh my, what? Oh man. Why, and why am I just now trying this? Mm. Oh my, wait. Yeah. I'm not playing. I'm not playing. I'm a big lover of rice. So for one, the rice, I love Spam, love it, and then I love seaweed. Y'all know I'm addicted to the seaweed snacks from Costco. This is all of like my favorites wrapped up into one delicious little bundle of joy. Wow. Wow. Let me explain. Let me explain. This needs a whole explanation. Yo. Spam is super salty as it is, right? But there's just enough rice to cut the saltiness and like balance it out. And then in the middle... They put like this sweet teriyaki. I, of course, add more. And then I add a little bit of the spice. Oh my gosh. It has a balance of flavors. Spicy, sweet, salty. Oh man. And then umami from the from the sushi paper. Oh man, I don't even know what to do. I want to like literally eat that one, but 
I want to save some the best for last because I'm going to end with that sucker. This is the um, Korean, not Korean, sorry, <laughs> barbecue beef. Y'all, I can't get over this. This is the best thing I've ever had. I swear, next time I go, I'm getting two orders of that. Oh, oh my God. Yo, why have I not gotten this before? What? Sweet, salty. Oh man. Shout out to all my Hawaiian people. All my Hawaiian people, I love you. So right here, obviously, that's the barbecue beef. This right here is the fried shrimp, white rice. And from what I hear, their macaroni salad is the world's famous macaroni salad. And then right here, I got barbecue chicken. Oh man, I know this is going to be good. I can just smell it. Oh man. Mmm. You can taste the char on it. It's sweet. You get a little hint of that bitterness from the char. Oh man. All right. Wow. I am impressed. Dude, people be mad sleeping on Ono's. No wonder when I went earlier, the drive through was packed. Mmm. Oh my God. Oh wow. But they're dipping in the sweet sauce. Mmm. Mmm. Man. Wow. All right, I was going for this. Look at that. Oh, oh man. You have got to be kidding me. Hmm. Where have you been all my life? Baby. Wow. Anyway, you guys. I'm so super excited. You're going to be obviously watching this today. <clears throat> but technically I'm recording this the night before. So today, as we speak, as you are watching this video... I am in Las Vegas with my boy, Steven Sushers and Steven Sushi. So yeah, dude, oh my gosh. We are at the moment probably having the time of our life. So tune in because we probably gonna be doing some kind of live or something. Mm. Yo, it's gonna be so lit, so lit. Steven Sushi Man, he's mad cool. Mad cool. Mm. And we were talking about it on my live the other night on Instagram. And he's like, hey, like, I'm in the mood to go to Vegas. Like, are you down? I'm like, I'm always in the mood to go to Vegas. Yeah. Heck yeah. So, literally, we touched base. Made sure that our schedules were open. And we're like, let's go. It's legit gonna be a bros trip. Mm. Man, I can't wait. And this and the words of Steven Sushi, shut your ass. Dude, I can't wait to eat out there. I, I haven't been to Vegas in forever. All right. You guys, let me know down below. 
And where are some good places to eat at in Vegas? Because we're going to be here for three days. We're trying to eat real good, good or whatever. All right. Y'all, y'all got to get on this. If y'all have Ono's uh, Hawaiian barbecue. Oh. Oh. This is the best thing ever. I'm not going to lie to you. Everything is delicious. But the next time I go to Ono's, honestly, I might just grab just like six of these, three orders, and just eat this. Oh. Wow. And try it like this. Put some more sweet sauce. And if you like that tangy, vinegary taste, put a little of this hot sauce on it. If you guys do it, if you guys eat it like this, tag me on Instagram. Tag me on Instagram. I want to see you guys eating a spam mushubi from Ono's Korean Barbecue. And, sorry, <laughs> Ono's Hawaiian Barbecue. And put the sweet sauce and the hot sauce on it. Mm. Mm. Why? Why did I only get two? I wasn't sure if I would like it. Mm. Oh my God. So as far as I know, we kind of like discuss what we're going to eat. We for sure, like every time I'm in Vegas, I love to go to Tacos El Gordo. That's like one of my favorite spots. And um, I've never been to a... I've never been to like a, a bougie buffet in Vegas because every time I go to Vegas with like a group of people, no one wants to go to the bougie buffets. They're like, no. We don't want to spend $60, $65 on a buffet. We don't even eat like that. I'm like, do y'all not understand that they have lobster tails, king crab legs, handmade sushi? Like what? So yeah, I never get to go. And this time out, like me and Steven, you know, we were like discussing places to like hit up. Let me know, have you guys been to the Bouchanel Buffet in the Caesars Palace? I've been reading, like, like recommendations and stuff and reviews. And people are saying that the Bouchanel um, Buffet in the Caesars Palace is, like, ver a very popular one. Also, too, I've heard that the Wynn has a good buffet. Let me know right now who has the best buffet. Mm. Man, this beef. Oh, this is so good. I can picture the this carne in a in a tortilla. Like there's some taquitos. It's a little bit sweet. Just like this. It's a little bit sweet. Like whatever they grill it with, it's like teriyaki. Mm. Oh man. But yeah, I don't even know. I don't even know how the vibe is in Vegas right now. You know, has anyone, has anyone been to Vegas recently? Like, let me know, how's the vibe? How's the vibe? Are things open again? I already booked my flight. Uh, you know, listen to this. Yo, I literally called everywhere. 
because I was going to get a rental car. I'm not checking my car because um, my headlight went out. My driver's side headlight went out. And um, I need to take it to a, like, a body shop. I haven't had the time to do that. But anyway, I called Hertz. And they checked everywhere surrounding the 50, surrounding like 50 miles around me. No locations had any cars. So I called Enterprise. Same thing. Nobody has cars, not even at the airport. No one. And so I was like, what the heck? Like, what am I going to do? I can't drive. What if I have to drive in the dark? Like, I'm not trying to drive with my, my, my brights on the whole way there. You know, I'll get, I'll get pulled over. Um, finally, my mom came up with an idea. She was like, well, why don't you just fly? I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hello? So, I ended up booking a flight. <laughs> I'm so excited. I love it because I'm about five hours away from Vegas on the road. But the flight is only about 50 minutes to an hour. It's, it's only about an hour. An hour flight. So... I'm excited. Mm. Oh. Okay. Wow. I'm not gonna lie. This food is filling. There's a lot of rice and carbs and all of that good stuff, my favorite. One of these plates can feed one hungry, really hungry person or two people. But I got the uh, Rebel birthday cake. Um, Steven had been swearing by this, saying that it was like one of the best. This is my first time trying Rebel. So I will be the judge of that. Vamos a ver. We gonna see what the hype is about. All right, I've been letting it sit out. So it says birthday cake ice cream. Oh, it smells like birthday cake frosting. Oh, and look at there's like chunks in there. I don't know if you guys can see the chunks. I think that's cake. Oh, 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 it's magic, you know. Wow. Yup. Mm. Dude, I have had some really nasty, nasty, like keto ice creams. Is this even keto? Five net carbs per pint. This is one pint. Damn, Gina. Damn, Gina. Wow, less than one gram of regular sugar. Yo, I have had some nasty keto ice creams. This is bomb. The key is letting it sit out like five, ten minutes. And it gets... Perfect, because the thing is with these keto ice creams, and no, I'm not on keto. It's just, if I can cut back a little bit somewhere, because I'm eating all of this, you know, food, I will do it. That's why I drink diet soda, because I don't want to drink my calories. If I'm going to eat ice cream, it's going to be keto ice cream. Yummy things come to those who wait. For the creamiest ice cream, let your pint sit out for at least five to ten minutes. That's the rules. Oh, this is sweet though. Oh yeah, that's that's really sweet. Steven did say that this was gonna be like super duper sweet. Yeah, a couple bites, I'm good. Mmm. I love those chunks of cake in there. 
That is so killer, man. Mm. For those of you that are diabetic or doing keto or low carb, this is a great alternative to regular ice cream. This is good. This is Big Appetite approved. This is Big Eye Appetite approved. I bought another flavor in this brand, uh, the mint chip. So it's like mint chocolate chip. That's one of my favorite ice creams. Also to another one that he was recommending is the white chocolate macadamia by Halo Top. You guys, one of the best ice creams I have ever had. It has chunks of white chocolate and chunks of macadamia nuts. Oh my gwee, oh my gwee. It is amazing. All right, you guys, this was amazing, super delicious. I highly recommend Ono's and Rebel Birthday Cake. Get on it, y'all, this was bomb. Also, too, if you guys can please say a little prayer for me, I am gonna be flying out. Oh, actually, <laughs> I'll already be in Vegas by the time you guys are watching this video. However, still say a little prayer for Steven and I, um, you know, just to keep us protected while we are there and keep us safe and uh, covered by the blood of Christ. I appreciate all the love and support. You guys are amazing. Thank you for being a part of the BGA crew. If you're watching this and you're not yet a part of the BGA crew, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell so you're notified every time that I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, besitos.